put the tag in and you can write on the back of the tag the back of that and then this opens up as well and you have more journaling space here hey guys it's jamie here and i'm going to get the die cutting machine out later and work through some of the dies that i've got and i thought if i'm going to do that i want a, a large master board so i'm not messing around too much so all i do for this is take some scraps add it to this huge this is a leaflet that's 23 inches by about 17 take some scraps that i've got these ones i made ages ago it is on a playlist i'm basically making paper an interesting paper for die cutting put in the mod podge glue over the top as i say in all my videos you can use any glue i don't think i'm even going to cut the big pieces down much unless i don't like the design i think what i'm going to do because like i say it's going to go through you know to make tags photo frames i don't know yet i've still got a white edge on it we'll be covering that up let's do it that way so as you can see when you use bigger pieces you cover very very quickly deliberately overlapping everything whatever i make will probably go into the sherlock holmes journal i'm going to continue with this and then come back when it's dry and we've got the old machine out my sizzix is too big to get into the screen and be seen so i'm just going to show you before i cut things up what i've done so i've cut the masterboard to basically fit these plates and as you can see some bits are quite plain but mostly it's interesting enough i've pulled out quite a few different die cuts that's a, a slot one a little tag top then we've got some clocks this is quite large so i'm not sure i'll use that it's some kind of envelope tags but with a raggedy border a little pocket some numbers so you're getting the idea i'm going to run or get as much as i can out of these and then we'll go through what we've got and decorate some pages in the journal that took a little while to do but look at everything I've managed to get and half of this isn't actually even in the camera shot. So we've got numbers, keys, gears, slides, slots, all sorts of things. So what I'm gonna do is throw all of this now into a box, pull the journal out, and we're gonna <laughs> do a little test where just pull one thing out of the box and then create a page around that one die cut i'm going to close my eyes you're going to have to trust me that my eyes are closed and i'm going to feel down here and grab something oh we've got two things that's okay though what have we got oh more than two things we've got several things okay we have one of those slot ones and we have a little pocket thing and we have a couple of keys this one has decoration if you did a slot thing there and then put some tags in to make sure this is sticking down that's an existing so that can already go in there I'm going to look for some things to go on top like a little thing like that i have a fingerprint oh yeah you could do something like that i have like a little tickety thing you could put in there we have a few little bits we could collage onto this we don't need much really it's just to create a focal point that works reasonably well to be fair i like this one by itself with nothing on it wonder if you could do two black and whites okay that's one done got this thing that says file number and then we've got some numbers here which is like a bingo card but it's the right color do file number and a bit of that bingo card it's another one done got like a little sherlock holmes scene put that in the middle not my favorite but yeah that'll do for that one maybe do something like that not outstanding but it does work the only thing i didn't like was this one so i added one of those die cut keys that i'd pulled to the top of it and let that dry not all of them will go in this of course but some will fit 
let's have a look we don't actually need to put all of them in either because the journal's getting quite big as long as we create some kind of staggered look got a few spare now the eyes closed delve down see what's going to come out probably more than one thing okay what have we got a few numbers quite a few numbers a padlock another oh is another key so now we've got two keys and that okay got the back of this and this is the die that i don't like so what can we do here it's actually a glue page i don't think that matters because if we glued it that way we could make this into a tag pocket so cut it into a tag shape but actually it's a pocket i would say if we take some of that off that's a better tag what you could do is rather than take it off fold it so that becomes a flip and then we want to make it a tag shape and the other way okay and then if we were to make it a pocket we need to glue along there and along there and leave the top and then we could do it so that there was a tag that goes inside the tag which means another page glue this together need to decorate this and this and that says cart postal you could almost put a pocket on there you know so you have a pocket and then a pocket so that's a bit of map and we've got sherlock here just need to stain i think the actual tags this one's called rusty hinge so it's more orange than normal and we have the vintage photo and the other brown that i've got is espresso right okay that's three on give it a blast come here and then the same with this one and let them dry this hasn't stained up quite how i wanted it to look so i found this napkin and i don't want the florals because it's sherlock holmes but i thought i could probably get it so that we just have the architectural detail on here and that might help get the color more to where i want it to be we can get that bit on there if i repeat bits of the pattern i'll probably get more what i'm looking for i think let's give it a go get as much out of this as i humanly can and bring it in again very very gently go over the top with a layer for this one we have a carte postale we're going to put that on here and it will cover up all those joins where the napkins were being patched together we we're trying to get some of these cuts on here got a number two kind of works what else have we got what's that oh padlock can you hang the padlock off the number two possibly over the top with the Mod Podge. Try and get that to stick right down. This one, pretty complex anyway, and I don't know that we can add to it much without ruining it. We have that, but it's meant to go across. Not that there are rules, and we can do what we want. We could run it down the side with another piece and create like a modern of abstract almost put a number there the next thing to do is to back them with some paper so they can be used for journaling i found this little template that i've got and what i'd like to do is put everything together this obviously is far too white this part would be glued to the page so i only need to decorate this bit and i am going to just grab some scraps for this because we just want something of interest to look at probably going to cover it 
a bit like a you know a bit like a masterboard top to bottom here's my thoughts for this page now all of this is done this is a hinge one way to hide the hinge would be to have this also glued to the page and then that is actually a little booklet in itself anyway so you have a pocket you can write on there you have this that's your like little organizer and then you also have a tag you can write on so several layers so let's get blue on here and then the whole of this is going to be glued into the middle of this page It's all firmly in place now, so I've put the tag in and you can write on the back of the tag, the back of that, and then this opens up as well and you have more journaling space here. Go on to this page, which actually already has a tag in it, but the page is a little boring. Japanese on this side, um, Russian I think on this side. Oh, we have this. It's actually got a circle at the bottom actually quite interesting I know it's not well it's it's that way but you could cut it down you could put something that comes through that circle this couple do they fit they do almost fit I think what I'm going to do then is make this slightly shorter and frame that couple in that circle I shall put this down as a belly band and then I think the other thing that you could do is put a nameplate type thing here. Does it fit across there? It does. Just does it work? Would do if there was a word. Will that fit? Just fit. So that's that look done. Nice simple design that one. Then on the other side you have the Japanese. I did have an idea about doing these frames with nothing in them just framing the page yeah that's all right that is going to look really nice on that page such a cool little page decoration that really worked out nice now we have the tickets so obviously that could be a page border and then we've just got to put something on those tickets but we do have those numbers I wonder if they will fit into these tickets. Okay, we also have our little slide pocket type thing. I found this in a book which is apparently an immigrant making a meal in Victorian times in a slum. So we're going to glue that into there. So I have found these little plates last rights word and i've backed this with some black card find some kind of pin so i can dangle and place it on a page so it this bit hangs free i realized the last shot of this was a little bit out of focus however you can see it now hopefully and it does dangle and move about and if you had a white gel pen you can write on the back you have now between three different videos at least 50 different page designs that are going into just one journal and every single page is slightly different i'm hoping this is going to help you overcome that overwhelmed feeling when you first start to decorate a journal i honestly all i do is have a bunch of scraps and start gluing and I know that seems bizarre, but it is the only way, because I get overwhelmed too, that I overcome it, it's just start. <laughs> so I'm hoping this will help you. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help support the channel. It's a free way that you can help this channel grow, as is subscribing to the channel and commenting on the video. In fact, sharing it to a few friends would be really helpful too, but I've never really asked people to do that. And I will see you next time.